Hey guys and welcome to another bullet journal video. So today I am going to be showing you my February flip through and then I'm also going to be planning my March spreads. So I have already drawn out my March spreads just in pencil, uh, like really rough quick outlines. And so in this video I'm just going to be kind of doing it properly. And I'm filming this on the 27th of February. I am very late getting around to this, but I've just been mega, mega busy with university and other videos for my channel. So yeah, we're finally doing this on the penultimate day of February. So without any further ado, let me just show you my February spreads. Okay, so this was my February cover page. I still, a month later, have not rubbed out the pencil outlines. Yay me. But this was my February cover page. We've got the watercolour moon and the typography here. Then we move on to my month at glance. I absolutely love this page. I love how colourful it is. I love how different it is to my other kind of month at a glance pages that usually look like this. So normally they just look like a complete just box. And we're still going with the box theme, it's just slightly different. And on here is just where I put when I'm at university, any birthdays, when I'm at work, meetings that I have to go to. And at the bottom here is my little to-do list. Then we go over to my work hours page. So this is just where I keep track of the shifts that I work during the month, how much I get paid for those shifts, and when my payday is, which is tomorrow, yes. And then we go on to my expenses tracker, which is covered by this lovely yellow napkin. This is where I keep track of what I buy. So here you can see the date in which I buy the thing, the description, so what did I buy, and the price. Then we go on to my YouTube and my blog tracker. So it's pretty self-explanatory. This is where I keep track of all of the YouTube videos that I'm going to film during the month. And then I draw a circle for when I filmed the video, when I've edited the video, and when I've uploaded the video. And with the blog posts, I draw a circle when I've started the book, completed the book, written the review, and if I need to post it on NetGalley and when I've posted it on Amazon. Then we move on to my mood tracker and my habit tracker. So I haven't done my mood tracker for the past few days because I've just been really, really busy. But I decided to track three moods during February. So my morning mood, how I felt during midday and how I felt during the evening. I just wanted to give it a go to see um, how I felt about it and I think I'm just going to revert back to when I kind of logged my two moods during the morning and the night because just tracking three kind of got a bit too much. Then we have my habit tracker at the bottom here. So I track when I take my medication, when I get seven hours sleep, no makeup, cleansed, electric off before 12, two cups of tea or less if I've spent any money, no snacks and if I have been reading. So those are my tracker pages there. Then we go on to my university timetable. This is a very, very colourful timetable and I absolutely love it. I love how this turned out. We go on to my homework pages. I love how these turned out. Just really simple boxes, but decorated with colour. I think they look so, so good. So we've got my gender, sex and culture homework page. Then we've got my film homework page and my dissertation box here. And then we go on to my very, very colourful notes page. I can't believe I thought that putting dotted washi tape round the outside would be a great idea. It just looks just so garish. But I just wrote down some notes here about some reading that I had to do for my gender, sex and culture class. And then we move on to my weekly spreads. As you can see, I've completely changed the layout for my weekly spreads. They used to look like this. So yeah, okay, there are boxes again, but 
here they're just, I don't know, it looks cleaner and it looks better like this. So you've got this little wreath here that says week one. And then I put all of the tasks that I need to do during the boxes. I have these stickers here that says when I'm working. And then we have week two, week three, week four, and week five, which is the last one. And then we have my time tracker at the very end here. I thought I had enough space to put it after my habit tracker, but it turns out I forgot to leave a page. So I had to put it at the very end here. As you can see, I haven't really gone up to the 27th, which is here. But I don't know whether you can see, but I've actually wrote in pencil little codes as to what colours I need to colour it in. Just because it's quicker for me to write an S for when I'm asleep and then I'll go back later on in the month and just colour it all in. That is my February flip through. Here is just going to be my highlights page. So I'm going to stick my Black Panther cinema ticket there and then just some pictures for the month. And then we go on to my March spread, which is all here. So that's it for my February flip through. Let's get on with my March plan with me.
okay so that is my march plan with me all done all my spreads are done my camera card did fill up towards the end while i was just finishing off my weekly spreads but it's all good you saw a couple of the weeks so you didn't really need to see all five so yeah i'm gonna show you what i did with my march spreads and then we'll be done for another month so this is my cover page i am pretty pleased with the simplicity of it and the wreath made out of the flowers i just think it's so cute and sums up the start of spring perfectly then we go on to my month at a glance so during the plan with me you just saw me draw it all out and do the title when my camera card had filled up i decided you know what I'm going to take this opportunity to do the decorating. So that's when I put the washi tape at the top and the bottom and some cute little succulent stickers at the top and the bottom there and then filled out all of the things that I've got going on during March. I love how colourful it is and I love the purpley grey theme that's going on. Then we go on to my work hours. So it's the same as last month just the normal box here and again I kept with bright colours to sum up this spring theme I've got my first shift of the month already penned in there and then my payday sticker here which I'm already looking forward to then we go on to expenses which looks so nice at the moment because it's bare but it's not going to be like that when it gets to the end of March because I'm obviously going to be spending some money this month but I have given up buying books for Lent, so maybe that would free up some of the space in the expenses boxes, we will see. But these are my expenses trackers, just the same as what I usually do. Then on to my YouTube and my blog trackers, so you can see I've already filled it out and I've already drawn like dots of where I've already done some of the stuff that I need to do, so I've already filmed my February book haul. I've already written these reviews and published them so these are all good to go I love the pink and purple theme that's going on here I just love keeping track of my YouTube and blog it just helps me so much to just keep on track of everything that needs doing these are two cute little pages that I've done and I've just put some really thin washi tape at the bottom and the colour corresponds to the colour that I've used for the titles there. Then the next pages we have is my mood tracker and my habit tracker. So I'm tracking the same habits this month as I do for every other month so there's no change there at all. And for March I'm going to go back to only tracking the two moods instead of the three that I did in February because it just got way too much in February so yeah I'm going to go back to the two moods so how I felt in the morning and how I felt in the evening and then at the bottom here I've just got some marble washi tape there next page I actually kept a space free for my time tracker this month so it's with all my other trackers this is such a pain to draw out because of all of the boxes and all of the lines but it's worth it in the end because I just love keeping track of how I spend my days and then here is just a little postcard that I have and it says it was books that made me feel that perhaps I was not completely alone and that just basically sums up my life and around the outside I've just got some floral washi tape that just spruces the page up a little bit then like i said i have my university timetable again i've kept the bright pinks color and i've already filled it in as you can see i've got my when i've got classes and then i've just put some stickers here for when it's reading week or when the half term starts when i've got an assessment in which is next week oh my life i can't believe it's come around that quick and then we go on to my homework page so this page is for my gender sex and culture class for semester two so i've kept with the same thing as last month where i kind of draw the boxes and then just put a nice bright color around the box and then got some shiny silver washi tape at the bottom and then just a sticker here that says angry liberal feminist killjoy and i brought this from Redbubble so and um, I will leave the link to where you can buy that sticker in the description box below and then the next page is just another homework page but this is for my film class 
And then at the bottom here, we have some unicorn shiny washi tape there. And then I have a sticker of the cat from Kiki's Delivery Service, which is a Studio Ghibli film. And I really can't remember what the cat's name is. Um, it's driving me insane because I can never remember it. But I love him so much, so I just kind of put a sticker there. And I got that from um, when I went to Birmingham Comic Con in the summer last year. So, and I really can't remember who I brought the sticker off. So I can't link it in the description box below. But I will try and find one really similar and I will link that down for you. Then we move on to my notes page. Here I've got a sticker of just a black and white typewriter that I also got from Rebelball. So I will leave a link to where you can buy that in the description box below. And instead of putting really garish washi tape around the sides i've just kept to a purple theme and it looks so much better than last month's which was just this craziness of polka dots as you can see there so it looks way more simplistic this month and it looks so much better and then we go on to my weekly spreads so for this month i kept with the same flower theme that i had going on on my cover page so here and I've got the same flowers all throughout, except they're all in different colours, which is pretty cool. So that's where March ends. As you can see, I've already put when I'm at work, and when there's things going on, so deadlines, when I've got meetings, birthdays. I've already filled it all in, so it looks full now. I just need to kind of write down when... Uh, what tasks I need to do during the weeks, but that's going to come when I find out my work rota. That is my March plan with me. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you've got any comments, questions, feedback, leave it in the comments box below. I will leave links to all of the supplies that I used in the description box as well, so feel free to check that out if you want to purchase any of the supplies that I used. And yeah, that's it for another month of bullet journaling. If you've done a March bullet journal spread and you want to show me, leave the link to it in the comments. And I would love to check out your guys' designs and see what you've been creating this month. And yeah, that's all I have left to say. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!